Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be part two to my most recent declutter series. If you haven't seen part one, I will link it down below. I went through my primers, foundations, concealers, and powders. Today, I'm going to be going through my setting spray drawer, which is quite embarrassing. And then I also have my bronzer drawer, as well as my blush drawer so those are the three drawers that I'm going through today my beauty room is an absolute wreck right now as you can see I have boxes everywhere I've got a donate box this is a declutter box from my previous video this is a box of PR that I still have to put away um, and just everything is all over the place so uh, yeah if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna go ahead and start with my bronzer drawer this is definitely one of the smallest categories in my makeup collection I typically find bronzers that work for me and then I stick to those and I don't buy new ones very often um, I feel like I am gonna be able to get rid of a good amount of product from this drawer but but I guess we'll see as we go. I wanted to mention really quick, like I did in part one, I really encourage you all to keep the comment section as positive as possible. I wanted to say thank you so much for the feedback that I got on part one. The comments were amazing to read through and I really appreciate everybody that left a nice comment. This is my job, so I do have a lot of makeup. Trust me, I know that I have a lot of makeup. Um, but I'm gonna try to declutter as much as I can and I do this quite often and anything that I declutter either gets donated or given to friends and family. Very rarely does something get thrown away in the trash so I am always cycling through trying to find new homes for my products that I'm not using as much so just wanted to get that out of the way and let's go ahead and start decluttering this bronzer drawer. Alright you guys so it is much later in the day so many things came up and everything has just been so crazy crazy busy lately but I'm back to declutter so I wanted to quickly mention that all of these little white organizers that I have in my drawers are from Walmart they're pretty inexpensive you can usually get a pack of like two or three for a dollar um, but you can also buy larger packs with a bunch of different shapes and sizes and then all of these acrylic ones that have the three compartments are all from Dollar Tree I do have a couple of larger acrylic organizers that are from TJ Maxx and Marshall but most of my organizers are from Walmart or Dollar Tree. So the first thing that I'm seeing is this basket here full of these Too Faced bronzers. So these are obviously in the old packaging so I really need to go through these. I may keep one or two but I really need to be cutthroat about these since they are so old. Uh, but I'm gonna wait to go through those for a minute and I'm gonna start actually over here in this acrylic organizer. This first bronzer here is from NARS. It's in the shade Seaside. I actually used it relatively recently and I really enjoyed it. So I definitely will be keeping this one. The other NARS one that I have is NARS Laguna. I really do enjoy this bronzer. So I definitely will be keeping this one. Next I have these two Morphe bronzers and it took me a really long time to realize that I need to let these go. These were some of the items that I acquired through the Jaclyn Hill contest that I won a while back and I know I have so much stuff and so many memories from that day that I really don't need to keep these but that was my justification for keeping them in the past so it's time to let go of both of these this first one is in the shade glitterati and this is supposed to be a bronzer product but this is definitely way too light for me and then this one is in the shade showmance which is obviously too deep for me Moving on to this section right here. This first one is from Laura Mercier. This is the uh, Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the shade Bronze 03. This is a mini, however, this is one of my favorite products from Laura Mercier and one of my favorite products in general. This is a shade that would match me more so now. I do have a deeper shade that I'll show you in a second, but I will definitely be keeping this one. I really need to start using this again soon. This is the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. I absolutely love this product, especially this bottom shade right here. I used this a ton these past few months. I haven't actually used any of the other shades, but this one is absolutely perfect for me. I love it so much, I will definitely be keeping this. This is the full size of the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the shade Bronze 04, so it is one shade darker than the 
deluxe size that I showed you, but this is perfect for me in the summer. It gives you a bronzy glow without adding an additional layer of product and cakiness. It's so beautiful and natural looking. I love it so much. I highly, highly recommend this product. And then I have the Huda Beauty, I'm not sure what this is called, Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream in the shade Light. This is a product that I've only used a couple of times and I definitely want to keep it and practice my cream contouring with it. Alright you guys, so once again it is the next day. I feel like this is the longest it's ever taken me to film a declutter. So we're going to move on to this last section in this acrylic organizer here. To start this section off we have the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I believe this is the original shade. I know they have a couple of different options available now but I think this is just the original bronzer shade. I love this product. It's amazing. I will definitely be keeping this one. I have two bronzers from Fenty, one full size and one deluxe size. We have the shades Private Island and Shady Biz. I will be keeping both of these. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. I will be keeping this. This is really old and I don't think that they make this anymore, but I plan on using this in a video very soon and it's just sentimental to me, so I'm gonna keep it. I've probably gone through like five or six of these. I'm not really doing too good yet, but trust me, we will be getting rid of some more bronzers. <laughs> Next we have the Wonder 2 HD Photo Finishing Powder. I really like this product a lot. It's another good one if you don't want to add like another layer of cakiness to your face. It just gives you a nice natural bronzy look to your skin. However, if I want something like that, I'm pretty much always going for the Laura Mercier product over this one, so I will be decluttering this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Duo. I will definitely be keeping this. Next, I'm going to move on to this container right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open all of them up and just see what I have. Okay, so immediately I can tell you I have two of these pink leopard bronzers from Too Faced. This one is really, really old, <laughs> like so old. And then this one is newer, but it's so crazy because they actually look different. Um, so I don't know if they like reformulated or what, but I'm actually going to get rid of both of these. I never use them and like I said, they're really old, so those need to go. This one is called Beach Bunny. This is, I feel like, a little bit too dark for me, so I am going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. This is the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer from Too Faced, so I think I am going to keep this one. I kind of forgot I had it. I'm going to try it out and see if it still works good. Um, so I do believe... I will keep that one. This is the original Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I think I might keep this one for now too. I'm gonna look and see if they even like still sell these anymore. I know they redid the packaging a while back, um, but I'm gonna keep those two for now. This one is in the shade Sun Bunny. I've actually used this one quite a bit and I'm tempted to keep this one as well. This one is Snow Bunny and I can definitely declutter this one. So for now I'm decluttering four of those and I'm keeping three. Moving to this section here, we have this one from Pretty Vulgar. This is the Bronzed Bee Sunkissed Snitch Bronzer. This is such a beautiful product. I love it so much. I actually got this in a boxy charm. I will definitely be keeping this one. This is like a giant limited edition hula bronzer that I will definitely be keeping. This is the Stila Stay All Day Face and Body Highlighter in the shade Medium. I really like this product. I used it a lot for a good amount of time, but I actually purchased this at TJ Maxx and I do not believe this is available anymore, so I am going to go ahead and declutter this one. I have two Morphe bronzers. One is in the shade Icon. One is in Megastar. I will be keeping both of these. This is in the shade Icon. It is the lighter of the two bronzers. And then this one is Megastar and it is the deeper of the two bronzers. I think they had one other shade possibly when this collection was out, but I'm not sure. Next I have my Tom Ford bronzer in the shade Zero to Terra. I will definitely be keeping this one. I've got two of these Marc Jacobs bronzers. This is the Omega bronzer in the shade Tantastic. I absolutely love this bronzer. I will definitely be keeping it. And then this is the Instamark Dream Filter Duo. I will be keeping this one as well. Next I have my Believe Beauty bronzer in the shade Hawaiian Glow. I absolutely love this bronzer. I will definitely be keeping it. I have this Too Faced Natural Lust bronzer that I will also be keeping. And then these are the last two bronzers that I have in here. These are really, really old and I keep them for sentimental reasons, which I know some people think that's stupid to keep makeup for sentimental reasons, but 
these are just like this is one of the first high-end makeup purchases that I like really saved up for and was super excited about this one is in the shade Ross and Rachel do I have any friends fans out there I freaking love friends so much and then this one is in the shade Carrie and big I honestly do not use these anymore I probably would never use these again but like I said I do keep these for sentimental reasons so I will be keeping both of these So I decided to declutter 8 bronzers, but I'm keeping 24, so that means I decluttered 25% of my bronzer collection. Definitely not the biggest percentage, but I'm still really happy with those numbers, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to blushes. So this is what my blush drawer looks like. It was pretty organized for a while, but then I kind of got too many blushes, so they're just kind of like sitting on top. Um, so I need to really go through this and declutter as much as I can. I really love blush, so I will be keeping a lot, but I'm going to do my best to really get rid of a lot of the older products in my collection. I just found a couple more blushes, so I set those on top. I do still have some blushes in my everyday makeup drawer, but I just redid my everyday makeup drawer. If you haven't seen that yet, I will link it down below. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it. I have a lot of these Laura Mercier blushes sitting on top and I just got a lot of these in PR, so I will be keeping them. I know that I have a duplicate, so I will declutter the duplicate. I think it might be this one. Yeah, this one is in the shade Peach. Um, so I think I have that here already so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this brand new peach blush here are all of my Laura Mercier blushes I will be keeping these four these two shades are fresco and peach and then these two are rose and sangria I'm gonna play with some different angles in this drawer so let me know what you guys think do you prefer just viewing the entire drawer the whole time or would you rather me kind of switch up the angle sometimes I'm gonna start from here kind of switching up the angle and then let me know what you guys think we're gonna go ahead and start with this section here the first one on top is this Lottie London blush crush blush this is in the shade Zach I just got this in PR I will definitely be keeping this out so I can try it out next I have these three incredible cream blushes I'm gonna actually set these aside and look at all of my cream blushes at once just to see what I have since I don't really use cream blush a ton so I'm gonna go ahead and put these like in the maybe pile next I have this Rimmel maxi blush in the shade third base I'm not sure about this one. I think I might put this in the maybe pile as well. I feel like I really want to like it since it's drugstore and it's very affordable and I'm a big fan of Rimmel, but I feel like this wasn't super pigmented, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch this in a little bit and see, but I'm not too sure about this one. Then I'm left with a bunch of Tarte blushes, and I love Tarte blushes, but I don't really use these too often anymore, so... Let me open these up and see what I have. So what I decided to do is I'm going to declutter all of the mini sizes and I'll keep the full sizes. The first one I'm going to keep is in the shade Fairy Flush. The next one that I'm keeping is in the shade Exposed. And then I'm keeping this one in the shade Glisten. I'm going to declutter the shade Party blissful and splendor i also decided i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this rimmel one i swatched it and it's very light in pigment and i just feel like i like something with a little bit more intensity so this is a really pretty color but i don't prefer this formula so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one as well this next section, I think I'm going to keep all of the shades. <laughs> so we've got this first one here, which is the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop My Sun and Stars blush. It's such a pretty color, and I just recently purchased this, so I definitely will be keeping it. Next, I have this Believe Beauty blush in the shade Creamy Peach, another one that I will definitely be keeping. And then I have three blush trios from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is in the shade Pool Party. This one is in the shade Pink Passion. And then this one is in the shade Peach love. 
I love this formula blush, so I'm going to be keeping all three of these. In this back section here, I have another Believe Beauty blush in the shade High Tea. Another beautiful peachy blush. This one has some shimmer to it, so I will be keeping this one. I have three blushes from ColourPop that are in this peach collection. I will be keeping all three of these. I promise I'm going to get rid of some blushes. This first row just happened to be more like newer stuff that I really, really love. Um, but I have all three shades. We have Perk Up. A risky business and the shade fresh and peachy I have a Mac blush in the shade peaches that I will also be keeping and then here's the Sephora collection blush in the shade love child another one of my all-time favorites that I will be keeping moving back to the front of the drawer we're gonna tackle this section next once again this has a lot of my favorite blushes but I know of at least one or two that I can get rid of from here this is the Kevin Aquan neo blush in the shade rose cliff I have used this a few times. It's really, really pretty, but I definitely don't need this, so I am going to go ahead and declutter it. I will definitely be keeping all of my NARS blushes. This is the NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. It's in a special limited edition packaging, but I will for sure be keeping it. I also have a few other NARS blushes here. This one is in the shade Desire. This one is in the shade Torrid. And this one is in the shade Deep Throat. I will be keeping all of those. I'm also going to keep this e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in the shade Always Cheeky. I'm going to declutter this Ciate Marble Light Blush in the shade Dusk. And I'm going to keep this Tom Ford Blush Duo in the shade Exotic Flora. Next, I'm going to go ahead and tackle my cream blushes. I don't have too many. I have some from Incredible, some from Glossier, and then some from CoverGirl. I definitely want to keep my Glossier cream blushes I have the shades puff and beam starting with my covergirl cream blushes I have these clean fresh cream blushes these are from their newer collection and I decided I'm gonna keep the two that are on the left we have the shade flushed and sweet innocence and then I'm gonna go ahead and declutter the shades butterflies and ripe and ready I feel like they just don't really flatter my skin tone that well so I'm gonna keep these two and declutter these for these incredible ones they're really really pretty I definitely could get rid of this one. It's in the shade My First Love. It's a really pretty color, but it's a little bit cool toned for me. So I will go ahead and declutter that one. This peachy one is so pretty. Like, I absolutely love it, but do I really need it? I feel like I would reach for, like, the Glossier one instead. So I'm actually going to get rid of all three of these incredible ones. The only other cream blush that I have is this ColourPop one that I just recently got. This is in the shade Between the Sheets. It's a really pretty color. This is what it looks like. I think it was in the Kelly Strack bundle from ColourPop. Um, I'm pretty sure that's when I got it, but I am going to go ahead and keep this one. I thought about it and I decided I really don't think I'm going to reach for these over the Glossier one, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter both of these as well. This section here is sort of miscellaneous, so um, I definitely can get rid of some of these though because these Milani ones are so old. Uh, right away, I have this one here from Kylie Cosmetics. This is in the shade Hopeless Romantic. This is a very interesting shade and I do want to keep this one so I am gonna go ahead and keep this first one I also have this makeup geek blush in the shade bliss that I'm gonna keep and then I have this NYX one in the shade citrine rose and this was a lot darker than what I thought it was gonna be based on the packaging so I don't think this is gonna flatter my skin tone I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one next I have these Milani blushes and these are very old like very very old probably like I was in high school when I got these. I haven't used these in forever. This one here is in the shade Romantic Rose. I definitely loved this one. This was probably my most used one, but it's time to declutter it. This is my newest one. It's in the shade Blossom Time Rose, but this is still a few years old, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one as well. This hurts me because the packaging is so freaking cute. And I love this formula of blush. I also have these two. This one here is called Coral Cove. And then this one is called, I already forgot, Tea Rose. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of both of these as well since they're just so old. Next, I'm going to go ahead and move on to this back section here. I feel like I'm going to keep most of these blushes. I have these two from Kylie Cosmetics. This first one is from the new Stormy collection. It's in the shade Flutter in Love, and I'm definitely going to be keeping this. This one is in the shade Close to Perfect, and I will also be keeping this one. 
This is my Charlotte Tilbury blush in the shade Pillow Talk. I love this blush so much. I will definitely be keeping this. This is my Patrick Ta blush in the shade She's Passionate, and I will 100% be keeping this. Then I have a bunch of these Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. I'm gonna say that I'm gonna keep all of these for now. Um, I have quite a few shades. I have Pearlescent Pink, Mellow Wine, Apricot in the Middle, Rosé Champagne, and Fantastic Plastic Pink. Behind that section, I had this little blush trio and I never know if I should put this in my blush drawer or my face palette drawer so I'm gonna keep it in my blush drawer <laughs> this is from Morphe um, I actually was recently sent this by sent this to me by PR from PR as PR wow I can't talk <laughs> Morphe recently sent this to me as PR and I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet so I will definitely be keeping it I just have to figure out where to put it. And then we have this side section over here. So this first blush here is from Milani. This is in the shade Lumino. So I actually somewhat recently purchased this though. So I will be keeping this one. I'm also going to keep all of my Buxom blushes. I love these primer infused blushes from Buxom. This one's really pretty. This is in the shade Mykonos. Back here I have some Becca blushes. I haven't used these in a really long time. So I need to open them up and see what shades I have. This one is in the shade Hyacinth. I definitely think this is a little bit too much for me. It's a little bit too dark, too intense, so I am gonna go ahead and declutter this one. This one is so pretty. This is in the shade Flower Child. I think I'm gonna keep this one. And then this one is Wild Honey, and I'm also going to keep this one. Next, I have these three, which these, once again, are very old. <laughs> These are from Urban Decay. These are some of the first high-end blushes that I ever purchased. These are super bright, super intense, fun colors. This one is in the shade Quickie, but these are way too old. Like, I seriously need to get rid of them, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye. This one is in the shade Bittersweet. I think this is one of the coolest blushes in the entire world, but this is so old. Like, once again, I'm pretty sure I was in high school when I bought this, so that means at least five years ago um at least so i need to say goodbye to this one as well and then this one is in the shade crush which will also be decluttered i decided i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these becca blushes i can't tell you the last time i used these and there's so many other ones that i really really love so i'm gonna declutter both of these as well wow i did not think that was gonna happen then back here i just have a couple of larger blushes and palettes this is a jouet blush duo in the shade rose gold that i'm going to keep i also have this blush palette from l'oreal is it yes um i'm gonna keep this but i think i'm gonna move this to my blush palette drawer since there are four shades in here and then i have these two two faced what are these called like sweetheart blushes sweethearts perfect flush blushes um, I'm gonna keep both of those. It's driving me insane because I cannot figure out where to put this Kylie blush. Like, it doesn't fit sideways very well. Um, and if I stand it up, it, like, leans a lot. So, I can't figure out where to put it. I guess I'll just put it there for now. I actually did so good. <laughs> like, I'm so proud of myself. I did not think I was gonna get rid of that many blushes. I'm gonna go ahead and count how many I'm decluttering and then how many I'm keeping, and I will update you guys with the numbers. So I ended up decluttering 25 blushes, and I am keeping 51. So I decluttered a third of my blush collection. I am so happy with that. I love blush, and I love how like much more open and organized this drawer looks, so I'm super excited. Um, I'm feeling good. <laughs> and then the last drawer that we're gonna be doing in part two is my setting spray drawer. This drawer is gonna be so hard for me because first of all, I love setting spray so much. Second of all, I go through it like crazy crazy but I definitely don't need this many setting sprays at one time this is literally like two or three layers deep it's like three layers deep so this is insane I also have some up here that I need to add to the drawer because they were either recently acquired by me or I had them out for one reason or another so yeah Right away, I can tell you, I'm gonna keep all three of these Urban Decay setting sprays. These were just recently sent to me as PR. We have the All Nighter setting spray. 
This next one here is the All Nighter Pollution Protection Setting Spray. And then this one is the Ultra Matte All Nighter Setting Spray. Another one that I'm for sure keeping is this Glow Recipe Watermelon Ultra Fine Mist. I love this. I'm almost done with the one that I'm currently using, and I just recently got this in a boxy charm, so I'm also going to keep this one. This is one that I can get rid of. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Setting Spray. Um, I don't have a desire to try this out, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass it along. This is another one that I'm going to be keeping. This is the Tatcha the Satin Skin Mist. This is one that I more recently purchased. This is the Lila B Aglow Face Mist. I definitely will be keeping this. I spent a lot of money on it, and I haven't gotten a chance to try it yet. I really do enjoy the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. But um, I don't love the scent of this one. I actually got this one at TJ Maxx. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I've used quite a bit of it. I'd say I've used about half of it. And I was going to try to finish this up this year. But I obviously have so many setting sprays. I don't need to be forcing myself to use something up if I'm not truly enjoying it. Um, I love the way this performs. But I would rather just have the original one. So maybe eventually... In a long time from now, I'll repurchase the original primer water, but for now, I'm going to declutter this one. This is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I will definitely be keeping this one. This is one of my favorite setting sprays. Another one that I am for sure keeping is this Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face Setting Spray. I have a couple of setting sprays from Pixie. I have the Hydrating Milky Mist as well as the Glow Mist. I love the Hydrating Milky Mist, one of my favorite setting sprays. I haven't gotten a chance to try the Glow Mist, but I've heard great things, so I will be keeping both of these. This is literally so hard. I have three of these SPF setting sprays. They're all good until early 2021, so I think I'm going to keep all of these. Um, they're SPF 50. I really enjoy these. I do use face sunscreen, especially during the summer. I don't use it every single day, which I know I should, but especially during the summer when I'm like at the beach and just like if I know I'm going to be outside a lot. Um, I try my best to always wear SPF, but these two are SPF 50. This one is SPF 30. I love the one, sorry my phone keeps going off. I love the one from Super Goop. I haven't tried this one from Kula, but I think I'm going to keep all these since I do believe I could go through all of these during this year. I'm turning my phone on silent right now. This is one that I can get rid of. This is the Becca Skin Love Glow Shield Prime and Set Mist. There's nothing wrong with this. I just feel like I have too many setting sprays and I need to get rid of some, so we're going to get rid of this one. This is a backup of my Farsali Rose Gold Setting Mist. I'm definitely going to keep this. This is the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. I'm actually not really that interested in trying this. It says that it reduces redness, it's pore minimizing, and it's oil absorbing, which honestly, like, I could... Uh, probably benefit from using a product like that but for some reason I just don't want to try this it might be so so good and I might be stupid for passing it up but I'm gonna go ahead and pass it along I haven't given it a shot and I've had this for quite a while so it's time to give it to someone else this is a mini of the Lila B a glow face mist that I'm going to keep I absolutely love this Codally, codily, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Uh, Beauty Elixir. It smells incredible. It kind of smells like essential oils or something, but um, I've gone through uh, multiple small versions of this, but this is the full size, and I'm so happy that I have this. So I love this. I will definitely be keeping it. It's super refreshing, and I love the way that it sets makeup. I also use this alone when I'm not wearing makeup, but love this as a setting spray. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is from the Holiday 2019 collection, so I will be keeping this one. The Morphe Continuous Setting Mist is one of my favorite setting sprays, and I have a ton of them, which you will see in a moment, and I will be keeping all of them because I go through that like water. Here's another product that I will be keeping. This is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. I absolutely love, like I am in love with the Fresh Vitamin Nectar line. 
especially the glow juice that is the best serum in the entire world i completely forgot to mention that in my 2019 favorites video i it, i don't even know what happened to me my mind just blinked like what what how did i not include that i it's just i completely forgot about it <laughs> i had some people commenting and i was like i know i forgot so anyway um i love this whole line so we'll be keeping this this is the full size i also have the smaller size in here somewhere and i'm gonna keep that one too this is a mini of the photo finish primer water i'm actually gonna put this in my everyday makeup drawer so that i can use it up this is just the original formula um like i said i love this so i will keep this but i'm gonna go ahead and toss it in there and i'll use this up within i would say like a week or so i definitely want to keep this anastasia dewy set setting spray first of all the packaging is everything second of all i love the scent of this and it's just a really nice product so i'm gonna keep this one too okay i have a ton of these like glowy setting sprays i have five of them i definitely don't need five i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this revolution glow revolution prime set glow spray um this is like too glittery for me to use on my face so um yeah i know my mom would really like this she has the darker shade so i'm gonna go ahead and pass this along to her i have these two from iconic london which i'm definitely gonna keep both of these and then i have these two from mac i have the pink light and the gold light i'm gonna keep both of these two i also have a regular mac fix plus that i'm gonna keep I actually have a bunch of drugstore setting sprays. This one is not a drugstore setting spray. This one is from Elemis. This is the Super Kefir Tea Mist. Not sure how that's pronounced, but this is a priming hydrating mist. I really like this. I love the way that it smells, so I'm going to keep it. I just recently picked up this oil control primer mist from e.l.f., and I guess... I didn't even realize that I already had this product, so I have two of them, which is insane. Like, how did I not know that? I guess I'm just going to go ahead and keep one and declutter the other. I have three matte setting sprays. I have one from Wet n Wild, one from Milani, and one from Joa. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Wet n Wild one since I had the coconut one that I used a lot, but... At the end of using it, I decided I didn't really love it that much, so this one is still brand new. I'm going to go ahead and give that to somebody else. I definitely want to keep this Milani one, and I'm not too sure about this Joa one. I'm going to set that over here as like a maybe for now. Then I have these three, and I think I'm going to keep all of them. I have the Milani Make It Last. I have the Believe Beauty Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray, and then the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this Joa one, just because I don't really use mattifying setting sprays very often for some reason, so this can go to someone else. All right, now we're down to our last couple variations of setting sprays so all of these black ones on the bottom are the original morphe continuous setting mist all of the pink ones on top are the jeffree star version i'm gonna keep all of those i have two of these evian ones i'm actually gonna mm, i don't know i think i'm gonna get rid of both of them because i have one that i'm currently using and it's taking me a million years to get through it so i'm gonna declutter both of those evian ones I recently got this. I don't know if it was in a boxy charm or what, but um, I've actually heard some good things about this brand, so I do want to keep this and try it out. This one from Incredible is super weird. It's like a jelly consistency. I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm just gonna like spray it into my hand um, so that you can see. It's like actual like jelly. So like <laughs> I don't understand the point of this. So. Um, I bought this from Sephora, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Also, it smells really bad, so that one can go. And then I have my iHeart Revolution Fixing Sprays. I absolutely love this setting spray. I had it in the peach one, which is this one here. It's peaches and cream, and I loved it so much I had to get it in the other scents. So we have vanilla and coconut, green tea, and then this one is guava and rose. So I will be keeping all four of these. <laughs>
All right, so here is the after of my setting spray drawer. I ended up decluttering 11 setting sprays and keeping 44, which means that I decluttered 20% of my setting spray collection. Like I said, this is one of the drawers that I go through so fast. So I'm constantly trying out new setting sprays and using them up. Um, I definitely don't need to have this many, but I feel like I can use up a lot of this in a relatively short amount of time. So I'm happy with it. Um, I'm going to give you a little overview of all the products that I'm decluttering from today's video and then give you my final declutter numbers. Here are the three drawers that I decluttered today. From these drawers, I kept a total of 119 products. I decluttered a total of 44 products. Here is the basket of bronzers and blushes that I'm decluttering, as well as the setting sprays that I am decluttering. So that's actually a total percentage of 26.9% of my collection decluttered, which is just over a quarter. So I'm really happy with it. I feel like I made some good improvements and some good space for my products. I'm going to add all of these ow, to my large box of stuff that needs to be gone through so that I can give stuff to family and friends and then also add to my donate box. All right, so this box is practically full. It's a pretty decent sized box too. So um, this is just from part one and part two. I already did give some stuff to some friends of mine. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I'm probably gonna film part three right now. So you'll see part three very, very soon. I have some other fun videos to film, but for now, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.